Assalamualaikum dear educarians. How are you? I hope you are doing well and taking good care of yourself. This is going to be your third lesson and in this lesson we will discuss unit number 6, page number 71 and 72. Dear students, in our previous lesson we have studied about change of state and effects of heat on matter. Now we are going to start our next lesson. So let's move. So the material required for this lesson is Pencil Highlighter Ruler Blue pen Blue marker Along with your textbook miracles of science and science notebook and today you will also need your winter pack that has been provided by the educators. Dear students, I hope you collect that all these things and you are ready for this lesson. Dear students, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the role of evaporation and condensation, explain the concept of boiling. Dear students, please open your science book and come to page number 71. Write down today's task, day and date at the top of the page. Today our topic is boiling. Dear students, do you know what is boiling? When a liquid is heated, the bubbles of water in the gas state form throughout the liquid. The bubble rises to the surface and escapes. Boiling occurs when the liquid is hot enough to convert to a gassy state. Pyaare bacho, jab kisi bhi liquid yani pani ko garam kiya jata hai, to zyada pani garam hone ki vaja se pani ubhalna shuru kar deta hai. Uski surface par bubbles banne shuru ho jate hain aur uske baad water gases form mein convert ho jata hai. Water hamara liquid hai. जब उसमें से evaporations निकलते हैं, तो वो उसकी gaseous form होती है. Evaporation When a liquid absorbs heat from the surrounding, some of its particles absorb more energy than others. So they begin to move very fast. They break away from other particles and escape into the atmosphere. This process is called evaporation. प्यारे बच्चों क्या आपको पता है कि evaporation क्या है? Evaporation वो प्रोसेस है जिसमें लिक्विड गैस में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है। For example, गीले कपड़ों को धूप में फैला दें तो वो गरम हो जाएंगे। उनके अंदर पानी evaporate हो जाता है और वो खुश्क हो जाते हैं। और हम इस प्रोसेस को evaporation कहते हैं। Condensation when a gas is cooled, its particles begin to move more slowly because they lose energy. They come closer together and eventually form a liquid. This process is called condensation. Pyaare bachyo, ki aapko pata hai ki condensation kya hai? Jab gas cool hoti hai, to uske particles slowly move karte hai. Wo ek dousre ke kareeb aa jate hai aur aise liquid ban jata hai. इस प्रोसेस को कंडेंसेशन कहते हैं। For example, hot shower की वजह से वॉशरूम मिरर पर फोग बन जाती है। और आप उस मिरर में तब तक खुद को नहीं देख सकते, जब तक आप उसको साफ नहीं करते। मिरर के आगे जो फोग बनी होती है, उस प्रोसेस को हम कंडेंसेशन कहते हैं। Freezing when a liquid is cooled, its particles slow down because they lose energy. As a result, they cannot move away from each other. Instead, they come closer together and stop moving, forming a solid. This process is called freezing. Ice takes up more space than liquid water because the molecules are held in rigid rings which surround empty spaces. प्यारे बच्चों क्या आपको पता है कि फ्रीजिंग क्या है? जब लिक्विड कूल होता है, तो उसके पार्टिकल्स स्लो हो जाते हैं और वो एक दूसरे से दूर नहीं होते। 
वो एक दूसरे के करीब आ जाते हैं और सॉलिड बन जाते हैं इस प्रोसेस को फ्रीजिंग कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल किसी भी बाउल में पानी डाल के फ्रीजर में रखते हैं तो कुछ टाइम के बाद जब हम उसको देखते हैं डियर स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो वट है जी उसमें आइस बन जाएगी जब हम उसको लिक्विड की फॉर्म में रखते हैं तो उसके मॉलिक्यूल्स जो हैं वो बहुत लूज होते हैं जब वो आइस बन जाती है वो हार्ड हो जाती है क्योंकि उसके मॉलिक्यूल्स क्लोजर हो जाते हैं सब्लिमेशन सम सब्सटेंसेस चेंज डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द सॉलिड टू द गैसियस स्टेट व्हेन दे आर हीटेड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड सब्लिमेशन Examples of such substances are iodine, naphthalene, and solidified carbon dioxide. जब किसी substance को heat करें और वो directly solid से gaseous state में change हो जाए तो उस process को sublimation कहते हैं प्यारे बच्चों आपको पता है जब हम किसी भी चीज को heat up करते हैं तो वो solid चीज पहले liquid और liquid से gases form में convert होती है लेकिन अगर कोई चीज गर्म करने से डायरेक्ट सॉलिड से लिक्विड की बजाय डायरेक्ट सॉलिड से गैसेस फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट हो जाती है तो उस प्रोसेस को सब्लिमेशन कहते हैं डियर स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इज आर रिमेंबर एंड अंडरस्टैंड फॉर यू लेबल द स्टेट्स एंड चेंजेस इन स्टेट इन द डायग्राम प्यारे बच्चों जब कोई चीज सॉलिड से लिक्विड में कन्वर्ट होती है तो वो मेल्ट हो जाती है जब कोई चीज लिक्विड से गैस में कन्वर्ट होती है तो वो बॉयल हो जाती है जब कोई चीज गैस से लिक्विड में कन्वर्ट होती है तब वो कंडेंस हो जाती है और जब कोई चीज लिक्विड से सॉलिड में कन्वर्ट होती है तब वो फ्रीज हो जाती है आई वॉन्टर पेज नंबर सेवेंटी टू What is solid carbon dioxide used for? Solid carbon dioxide is used as dry ice. It is used for preserving frozen foods. Dear students, you have to write down this answer on your science textbook. Dear students now we are going to start our notebook work so grab your stationery as we use in our school Dear students you have to write down this work in a very neat handwriting on the notebooks that has been provided to you in the start of the session Dear students after reading now it's time for your today's task So get ready grab your notebook open your page and prepare your page like this write day date today's task topic unit number 6 matter and changes in its states recall questions and draw margin line question number 4 what is diffusion describe an experiment that provides evidence of diffusion Diffusion is the act of spreading something widely in all directions or the act of slowly mixing a gas or liquid in a substance. Experiment Put a drop of green ink into a glass containing colored water. The green color of the ink will spread evenly in the water. The particles of ink will move about until the ink will fill the spaces between the water particles and the water will appear pink the mixing of particles is called diffusion dear students prepare your page like this write today's task higher order thinking questions and draw margin line question number 1 how can you prove through experiment that the particles of matter are always moving experiment spray perfume in one corner of the room and go to the other corner after some time you can smell the perfume in that corner of the room too this proves that the particles of matter are continuously moving question number 
Why is there an effect on volume when matter changes states? All three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas, expand when heated. The atoms themselves do not expand, but the volume they take up expands. Heat causes the molecules to move faster, which affects on the volume of matter while changing its states. Dear students, I hope that you understood each and every point of this lesson. So, here is a short assessment for you, so that you can assess yourself. So, let's see what we have in here. Question number 1. What is sublimation? Question number 2. What is condensation? Dear students, now think what is sublimation and what is condensation. Then write down the answer of each one of them within 5 minutes. Dear students, now this is time for task to do. So what you have to do is learn highlighted points of page number 71 and 72. Learn and write recall question number 4 and higher order thinking skill question number 1 and 2 on your notebook. Dear students, after each lesson, we have some fun facts for you which will enhance your knowledge. So today's fun fact is the boiling point of water is 100 degrees centigrade and the melting point of water is 0 degrees centigrade. So dear students, I hope this fun fact will add to your knowledge. Dear students, I hope that today's lesson was helpful for you. And you have understood each and every point. So, I'll see you in my next lesson. Till then, take care and Allah Hafiz.